Hello everybody, Wolf Fang here. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. Nice windy day, sunny day. Supposedly, we're supposed to have some pretty good storms come through, I guess, later. Between, uh, well, hell, it's 5.42 right now. They said about 4 o'clock. It's just kind of cloudy. So it's, it's nice out. It's really nice. It's actually 64 degrees. And then it's supposed to drop down tomorrow. So, But like I said before, that's uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. So we all know about the bridge collapse. Uh, I just do prayers for the people that didn't make it. The last I heard, they're still searching for those construction workers that were on the bridge when it happened. So we'll see how many conspiracy theories come out on YouTube. But uh, I don't know that uh, <clears throat> cargo sh that cargo ship was huge. So so let me get on with uh, my news article. It says here, can Texas National Guard shoot migrants crossing the border? A recent clash between migrants and members of the Texas National Guard at the U.S.-Mexico border prompted calls for retaliatory violence against illegal entry entrants. Uh, through legal sources tell Newsweek that federal and state-wide uh, provisions regarding self-defense differ. On March 21st, videos posted on social media showed, that, <clears throat> showed what was described as hundreds of migrants attempting to illegally enter the country in El Paso, Texas. U.S. Customs and Border Protection corroborated the reports to Newsweek saying that a large group of migrants breached the Texas National Guard's Constantine Wire barricades located between the Rio Grande and the border, border wall and were uh, subsequently detained. Man, I've been sneezing my butt off all day, too. The situation, which some viewers described as a riot, led to the migrants being taken into custody at the adjacent border wall. They were transported for processing under Title VIII, which outlines processes for handling migrants at the border and allows migrants to lodge asylum claims. Family groups and children were prioritized, as CBP said. As immigration is under the jurisdiction of federal laws, and agencies, uh, Texas soldiers lack the authority, including the use of lethal force available to federal agents who work and operate along U.S. borders. Because of the incident and the influx of migrants into the U.S. through the southern border under the Biden administration, individuals have called on Texas National Guard to take matters into their own hands by way of lethal force against migrants who attempt to enter the country illegally. It is unfortunately legal for federal immigration agents, the CBP, to use lethal force when it is objectively reasonable and an evident threat is clear, said Amy, I'm not even going to say the name, a pol uh, policy analyst at the independent grassroots organization Hope Border Institute, located in the El Paso, uh, sit, uh, hell, I can't, <laughs> Q-Dad, uh, Jose, that's, well, that's not Jose, I don't know, anyway, it's that person's name. She referred Newsweek to the CBP's Use of Force Policy, which was published in January 2021 and provides a general list of guidelines for federal agents to adhere to. Less lethal force, according to the guidelines, would be 
Force not likely or intended to cause serious bodily injury or death. And any use of it must be both objectively respons- uh, reasonable and necessary in order to carry out the authorized officer's slash agent's law enforcement duties. Certain devices and weapons may be used in situations where empty hand techniques are not sufficient, particular, or appropriate to control disorderly or violent subjects, the guidelines said, or the guideline added. The guidelines also say that reasonable consideration refers to any factor that may can, uh, counsel against the use of such force, including the presence of vulnerable subjects, such as small children, the elderly, those who are visibly pregnant, or individuals who lack the ability to quickly disperse from the area. Agents and officers must also cease application of force and seek medical assistance where feasible when criminal activity ceases or when the incident is under control. They may not use deadly force solely in defense of the IBB unless there is an intimate threat to death or serious bodily injury to the officer slash agent or others. The guidelines continue, referring to an international boundary barrier. State officials, especially the governor, have justified the use of lethal force through apprehensions and encounters related to Operation Lone Star by claiming that migrants are trespassing into private property and now into Texas property giving the feeling of invasion. Texas Governor Greg Abbott and other uh, statewide officials and politicians are awaiting the final ruling on Senate Bill 4, a law approved by state legislators that is being uh, uh, legitimated by the U.S. Supreme Court and lower courts. If enacted, It will allow Texas officials to arrest, detain, and deport migrants suspected of entering the country illegally. In the same vein and under the same authority, typically provided to border agents under the uh, spews of federal laws. Margaret Walker, a professor in the Department of Geographic and Geosciences and Urban and Political Affairs at the University of Louisville, told Newsweek via email that the National Guard had assisted the CBP in securing the southwestern border but had not engaged in direct law enforcement roles. Support mostly came in the form of logistics and administrative activities. The current debate about SB4 is framed as a Title 10 federal versus Title 32 state issue. Walker said the Texas National Guard cannot be federalized as it were. However, this tension between state and federal authority lies at the heart of the current Im- immigration landscape. Immigration enforcement is under the purview of the federal government, but appears to be a moving target due to recent challenges to that authority. Senate Bill 4 is one example. Prior to Operation Lone Star and the Texas challenge to federal authority, the rules of force were governed by state guidelines and were more uh, restrictive than federal guidelines, she added. Only the president could activate the authority for the Texas National Guard to have the present authority of federal agents, which it currently does not have, and which uh, precipitated the bill in question. David Abraham, a law professor at the University of Miami, told Newsweek via email, that there is no clear answer on how lethal force should, in essence, be delegated. 
listing issues surrounding uh, propensity and assuring officer safety as the main determinants. In a mode of transparency, CPB published updated standards regarding the use of lethal force in January. The new standards describe an officer's use of force as being about balance. Oh my lord. And in proportion to what's called the totally total, totality of circumstances. My, my. That balance can be difficult to uh, discern based on the type and amount of force used and the risk of foreseeable injury. On the other side of the spectrum, in the government's interest, officers and agents must weigh crime severity, threat, and the level of resistance. In February, U.S. Representative Morgan Lorell, a Texas Republican, introduced the Defend Our Borders from Armed Invaders Act in the House, which would authorize the National Guard to escalate force as necessary to repel an armed individual attempting to illegally enter the U.S. through Mexico. A spokesperson for the uh, (coughs) congressman told Newsweek, that the legislation applied only to those migrants carrying lethal weapons. The bill currently awaits committee markup. This border crisis is a full-on invasion, and the Biden administration continues to recklessly recklessly, turn a blind eye to the ongoing danger to this presence. Uh, Loretta A 14-year U.S. Navy veteran told Newsweek, I fully support Governor Abbott's and the Texas Guard's effort to secure our border. Abraham said that from the legislation title alone, one could safely say the intention was to allow, indeed encourage, the preemptive use of violent force against those trying to cross the border without legal authorization. So that was kind of a mouthful, but uh, I'm just going to say it. Those guys are down there trying to protect the border, trying to protect Texas, and you have these yahoos coming over illegally, and then when they want to force or bum rush or a hundred of them just come at you, I think you should be allowed to uh, use whatever force possible Um, because those guards don't know out of all those people that were involved in that situation, who knows who had a gun on them or a knife. I would see them uh, having knives on them more than a gun. But with all the BS going on and all these whoever they are coming across the border, sneaking across, they're just coming over here illegally, period. I'm not going to say what I'd like to do because I think I would lose a lot of uh, subscribers. And that's okay too, but God damn it, it's time that we protect the United States. This shit's getting way out of hand, way out of hand. And then on top of that, the government doesn't even want to take care of our own people. They'd rather take care of these scumbags coming across the border. So, potato head Joe, screw you and your administration. You can kiss my ass.